My name is Xavier, and welcome back to episode El Numero 4. Number one, Christine, quick, get off that. Get back on doing whatever you want, attending the party. Yes, I thought about this for two seconds before starting the episode. God, I hope she makes it. She really, I really wanted to have the buff. She's not too happy right now. So oddly enough, she's not freezing somehow. Like, how the hell? I don't know. Did she attend the party, though? Attending party? Yes, she's in the party. Great. Everyone in the colony attended the party. This will be fantastic for keeping spirits up for kind of a while now. Oh, I'm super happy about this. Comfortable, feeling good. There we go, attended party 15. She made it by the nick of time. Right in the last second she came in. Perfect. Now, let's start uh, focusing on getting this whole room together. So the first thing I want to note is I think I need chairs, right? Speaking of, do I need chairs for these workbenches? Does that increase productivity or does it just make them more comfortable? I don't know. I wanted to make uh, armchairs there, sofas or whatever, but I don't have any cloth growing or anything like that. So that's not really on the on the list of stuff to do for right now. It does look like this is getting power, this is getting power, but this is not. So we're gonna need to run some power. Let's run it up this way. I'm probably not setting this up in a smart way. Like if anything goes down, the whole grid is gone, basically. Uh, I do remember stuff like this from Prison Architect. Like it's smart to have multiple power runs with switches. So in case something goes down, most of your colony can still stay up. But I'm not doing any of that. I am not the best player. The campaign will probably end any any second now. There's gonna be a raid. Constantine is hauling in, uh, what is this, work number 26? Oh yes, Constantine, very nice. You get that installed. This pool table will never get installed until we get some cloth. Wow, that's surprising. He just slapped it right in. Work number 26 is installed. This thing we actually need to deconstruct, but not before. He gets the other one built. Let's prioritize working on this other one first. So I don't forget about that. And then I also need to set the cooler. It's on my mind right now. Once this is built, I need to set the temperature. How many components do we have right now? We have, as far as I can tell, zero. Zero remaining components. I can make no more things. And if something breaks down, we're screwed. Christina's just laying naked in a tree, watching clouds. Like, she has just really let herself go once I died. Like, this is just, she doesn't, she does not care at all. Like, not even the slightest. Anyway, what was I thinking? I, I was just thinking something very important. All right, this thing needs to get built. Right, components. Wait a minute. I prioritize working on that, but we don't have any components to put into it, right? And, and that means the cooler is not cool. It's fine, though, because outside it's 24. In here, it's 5. Somehow it's still keeping cool, even though there's a hole in the wall. All right, let's let's uh, let's look around for components that we can mine up really quick. I think we have someone set to mining pretty high in the priority list. How have I been playing for three minutes? God, I wish, I wish I could just play this game all day. Every Here we go, components. Every time I look at the clock, I feel sad, like I have to end the episode soon, even though I just started. It's so much fun. Uh, compacted machinery, great. We're just gonna mine all this compacted machinery, which will give us components. Wherever, there's some food out here, I remember that, but you know what, I don't, who cares? It's just like four food. It's not even worth the trip out there to get it. And yeah, all in all, wait, is that another, com that's too far away. Let's let's focus closer to, t to home here. Any components in here? No, here, no, here, mm, mm, no. There, no, this is like steel out in the water. That's interesting. What is this, limestone? Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, here's some more components. Is that too far away? Mm, maybe, but they're so rare. Let's do it anyway. Like, once you mine these, I'm not really sure how to get more of them other than trading to other traders once you mine what's on your map. Maybe there's like a late game th Oh, actually, you can get more by deconstructing these ship chunks. Let's put those on deconstruct. I think there's probably more of those too because I never queued up the initial ones. Wherever they are. Let's look around for ship chunks really quick. There's one. That's actually the easiest way to get some right there. It's very close to town. Oh, here's another one. Voila. It's like finding, it's like, where's Waldo? It even looks, it literally looks like where's Waldo right now. This game, in this, this environment. Oh, hey, here's some more components. A lot of them, actually. Wow. I haven't gotten any warnings about ancient evils inside the, the caves. I don't know what that actually does. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't, no one tell me in the comments. I want to find out the hard way sometime. Ooh, what's all this steel? 210 steel, okay. Must have fallen down with the ship. Well, as far as I can tell, there's no more ship chunks. Oh, here, no, that one's already deconstructing. So, looks like we're good then on that front for now. 
All right, let's clear out this party. Low medicine, yes, I realize that. Someone has to finish researching. Who's actually the best researcher in town? Well, Christine is the only person who can do any research. And you know what? Let's queue that up to number one. So that she finished. I just want to, just for now, just so we finish this, this last. Oh, come on, Waldo, Shamrock. This is our muffalo. We need that for meat. What is the guard doing? Oh, he's building the, the power, okay. Hey, this thing is up and running, although it's not going to be heated until he gets the walls. Need materials. We don't have walls? Right, no one must be set to plant cutting. I think Addison is a good a good candidate for that, right? He's handling and cleaning. Let's have him plant cut if there's any plant cutting above everything else. That makes sense. Where is he? He's in bed. Or she's in bed. Okay. Well, tomorrow we'll get this done. It's too cold in here, I think, for these to grow. Cannot grow bad seasonal temperature. So once we get these last few walls in, we're actually completely out of wood right now. But once we get these last few walls in, get those trees, this will be warm. Oh, and look, it's so cold, actually, the last few things are dying. And there's no roof in here either, because so if it starts snowing, we're going to have electrical outages. And we're basically just wasting power. Oh, speaking of power, we're negative 2,000 at night. Okay, that's that's this is what we need to do. We need to micromanage Addison here. Once 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 she's done playing horseshoes, get some joy up. We need to go chop down trees for the walls, and we also need to chop down trees for the wind generator. Okay, uh, cutting raspberry bush. No, thank you. Come up here and cut these cut these pine trees. Way more important. Also, what's Constantine up to? Consuming berries? Why the hell would you consume? Oh, we ran out of food. Because Dagar has been hunting and constructing. Let's put Dagar back on priority food. Oh no, everyone's gonna get food poisoning. Oh, there we go. Shamrock has gotten food poisoning from Ward Corps. Shamrock has got food poisoning. That's right. None of these things have been butchered because... Oh, come on, cats. Uh. Constantine, what are you up to? Hauling components to build heater. Alright, looks like someone's at least mining. I am really screwing this up, I feel. But if we can just get these trees chopped down, we'll at least have a, a, some wind power. Yeah, we gotta. We, this one has to be chopped as well. And then it looks like that one also, this one as well. What else is in the area here? This little one, sure. That one, wow, that's a lot of chopping to get one wind generator up and running. We'll get there though. Addison's on the task. We finished drug production. Perfect. What do we want to do next? Uh, probably smithing. So we can start building some tools and selling them. And then I think armor comes from machining. Is that right? I, it doesn't matter because we're going to shut Christine off of that priority. She needs to do the other stuff. Most importantly, uh, tailoring. Like, right now. Why is her art so high? I think I set that... Why? Did I... This feels like this got messed up. I wanted it... I wanted Constantine to be doing that. I think. All right, what was I doing? Uh, Addison's chopping these trees. This is good. Is it windy up in this in the mountains? I would think so, but how would I? How am I supposed to know? Blocked by pine tree. Right, maybe when all these trees get chopped down, and we get enough wood, and we get this thing together, the the show will be back on the road. Fantastic! This is finally done. We got the components. Let's set that now to negative two. This one we will deconstruct, and in its place. We will produce a wall, although I don't have any wood, so queuing this wall up right now is actually going to be pretty bad. Who knows when the heck that's going to get done. Well, Degar's at least making meals. Addison, no, what are you doing cutting these trees, friend? We need we need the big ones here. We need the, the wind power going. Looks like during the day, we're actually losing power even during the day. Oh, that is very... Very bad. We're gonna need more power. I can either build some of these w fuel generators, or I could build another um, solar generator. But solar, either one takes components, and components need to be mined. And we, jeez. Okay, we have four out there at least. Let's build another solar panel here. I'm not sure if that's smart or not, but hopefully those components will get put in. Maybe we'll get some components from deconstructing this thing. Yes, I do not have an efficient colony. Once I died, like, and I had to have Dagger or Dagar go do all that stuff, 
like, it, we, everything just fell, it just fell so far behind. You know what, though, Dagar, can you please butcher? Nope, you can't consume it, it must be already rotten. Oh well. It's fine. Everything's fine. Is this thing ever gonna turn on? This thing probably needs to get out of there as well. Blocked by birch tree. Edison, where are you going, friend? No, don't don't rest. Don't rest. No rest for the weary. We must chop trees all night. I need this thing running before we run out of power, which is going to be tonight. So I'm going to micromanage this. Every one of these trees before you go to bed. I know it's late. It's, I know it's midnight. I know it's freezing. I know you don't have warm clothes. I know winter has just begun and you're out in the thick. God, this reminds me of Don't Starve when I didn't know how to play. And it was like the first winter was coming and I was just never, never, ever ready. This is, I feel like that right now. Why is this not running? It looks like there's wind, right? Everything's blowing. So I think once we get all these trees, come on. Or some of them. Blocked by poplar tree. God, there is so many trees. Sorry to do this to you, Addison, but we need, we need power. We're almost out here. Negative 2,000. We have 300 remaining in, in the batteries. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's running. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's get, let's get this big tree out of the way. That'll help a lot, I think. There we go, negative 600, negative 800, negative 900 watts, negative 600, great, great. Once this big tree is gone, that'll help a huge amount. Good thing I caught this. Minor break risk, low medicine, nope, no, 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 Addison, Addison, come back, one more tree. Or maybe, maybe that is the last, no, this is the last tree. Two more trees, Addison. Connected power rate, negative 75, yes. Oh, escape pod, that means someone is uh, wounded. Okay, let's go see. Wouter. Wouter is wound seven hours. Oh god. Uh, Addison, please rescue no non-research prisoner bed. Alright, I hate to do this to you, Addison, but you're gonna have to set this for prisoners. Uh, and you're gonna have to go rescue a router. In shock due to pain. No, Addison, what are you doing? Rescue... rescue worker? Oh, capture? Uh, let's capture for now, and then I can change it in a second depending on what's going on. So the deal here is he, right middle toe is destroyed, so he's a little bit slow, 90% walking efficiency. I don't know why you'd really need a right middle toe to walk, but whatever. How did, oh wait, wait a minute. Hold on, that was Addison's middle toe. How did that happen? So what's the deal with Wouter here? Hypothermia, shivering, okay, cut, stab, stab, cut. Otherwise he's okay, he's gonna die in five hours. He's got an awful prison cell, he's freezing, extremely low expectations, masochist in exceptional pain, okay. Waldo has gotten food poisoning from Ward Corpse, that's fine. Traits, volatile. He's a hair trigger all the time, he's the first to break in any tough situation. Do we want him in our town? Teetotaler, that's fine, I never get around to making beer anyway. Masochist, he likes to be in pain apparently. Santa Fe has gotten food poisoning from Ward Corpse. Guys, I guess there's no squirrels because it's winter, right? He's a corp researcher. Research of massive space exploration. He's very good at medicine, very good at research, very good at crafting. We actually do want him, even though he's volatile. This could come back to bite us, but we need him right now. Also, this means we do not have a bedroom for uh, Addison anymore. So, we also don't have any wood. And our batteries, luckily, are... We didn't actually lose power, because if we lost power, everyone would start freezing, because we have electric heat right now. So that would have been pretty bad. Addison, will you even get this guy? Actually, no, Addison might need to be saved because he's extreme, or she's very tired and urgently hungry uh, and also walking through marsh in the in the cold because I made her chop trees all night. God, that wasn't the, the smartest move. We might not even get this guy back before he bleeds out. We'll have to see. Uh, if he does, we're gonna have to have Christine like super ready with our four med kits and that's all we have. Where did that, uh, let's have Constantine. Don't build a slate wall, let's haul this, uh, haul these herbs. Dagar, you can, you can still do that. We need the, at least herbal meds in the stockpile. I don't know if Addison's gonna make it back in time. I don't think he is. Well, nothing we can do about it now, but wait. So, we wait. And we see. Come on, Addison, you can make it. You can make it. How do you select the guy? It's really hard to select the guy. Addison has no place to sleep. Maybe we can assign this bed to Addison. So I, I think we just kicked Constantine out of our room now. Waldo, really, you gotta throw up? 
All right, let's get Christine now. Uh, let's micromanage her over next to the whatever, and then shut her off that draft mode and cannot not already doctoring water. She's already doing it. She just went straight there. What's his deal? 1.7 hours. We got a band. We don't even have time to make her go get a bandage. Like he is almost dead here. He, hypothermia. We're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to bandage it with bare hands. Nice. 2.9 hours. I'm wondering if I should use regular medicine. Severe illness. Wouter. Okay. Yeah. Hypothermia. Shivering. I know. I know. What's the room temperature in here? 66. He's good. Everything's fine. Addison, where are you, friend? Consuming fine meal. That's a smart choice. You definitely needed to do that after that night of working. Malnutrition, very, uh, very bad. Starving trivial. After this, you can go take a nap, and hopefully you'll, you'll be better tomorrow. Okay. Well, we avoided the power crisis ever so slightly. Our power is generating. The batteries are filling back up. Constantine's bringing the, uh, herbal meds back in. Wouter looks like he is now stabilized. Great. What's the chance of recruiting him? 52%! Oh, hell yes! Chat and recruit! Yes, yes, yes. Although I, I really wish Avia would join. I don't know what the hell her problem is. Then we could put water in this better room over here, but... Whew. Okay, so we need to finish up these walls. And to finish the walls, we need hauling. Hauling is done by Addison. Addison is sleeping. Let her go. Let's grab Constantine, who's viewing his own art. Oh, what the? All right, because now it's snowing. Oh, for God's sakes. Let's tog toggle the power off here, because these things are not going to be necessary. Hopefully someone's fighting this fire already. I should have toggled that off before. I assume this would be done and we'd have a roof over it by now. Attempting to recruit. Dagar's cooking a meal. Zanai is consuming some... Who the hell's turning up? Guys! Uh, we have some issues here. Fire. I guess it's snowing, so the snow will put it out. Christine, please! Please! Uh, recruit Avia! Maybe I should have like a- oh, 6.3% failed. Oh well, you did your best. Try again next time. So we got the fires out, and now we need Constantine to haul wood. Or, can we just set him to prioritize working on this and then he'll grab the wood automatically? Yes. We need- we need this thing done to get the growing going because we're running out of food here. We also appear to be low on meat. So we can make no more fine meals, unless I find those mufalos and hunt them. Where did that herd of mufalos go? Uh, we already saw that z- It's mega sloth, we have- what's this, elk? Uh, is elk like a cat- female caribou? Are they likely to fight back? I have no idea. How do we find that out? Large number, well adapted, intermediate, intelligent. hmm, intermediate intelligence. Meet amount 171, melee DPS 5.7. I'm not sure how likely- I've never- I've never tried to fight one of these before. I don't know if we try to kill it, if it's gonna wreck us. It might. Oh, it, no, never mind. I don't have to worry about it. Let's just, we don't need any of these things. Let's hunt those. The mufalos, then we can also use their leather to make some parkas for the winter. Of course, by the time I get around to making the parkas, the winter's gonna be over, realistically, but whatever. Constantine, are you still working on those walls? Yes. Please get those walls put in. Recruit chance, 5.1% on water. Failed. Okay, Constantine, get, okay, you're almost done, Constantine. Nope, don't build a slate wall. Why? Wow, I forgot I even queued that up. <laughs> That was so long ago, when I thought that I could do anything like that. Uh, everything's looking fine. We do need Addison to get up and haul because one of our generators is out and we're losing power. So, Constantine, when you're done... No, we don't have time for you to consume a meal. Can you please refuel the generator first? Because I don't want the batteries to run out. We are on a knife's, like, a razor's edge here in terms of running out of power. We do have some components. We can build a solar panel tomorrow. Let's let Constantine eat for now. He's done. He's building a roof. Great. There we go. We don't have the power to run this anyway until we get that extra solar panel and the batteries up and running. These sun lamps are extremely expensive. Are we almost done with the roof, Constantine? And then you're building the wall. Yep, and then it's the last, the last thing here that we need. No, not that wall. This wall. I just want this r What the heck's going on now? A heater has short-circuited. Where? Why? Oh! Oh! God, no, guys! Uh, extinguish the- I know we're all in bed right now, but we need all hands on deck here. This is not something I'm accepting. 
All right, because this isn't roofed yet. Damn it. Um, who's getting this fire? Already fighting the fire. Constantine, we need you to build the roof in here, which requires finishing this wall. I am really bad with, uh, what's this, the fifth time this series that I've allowed a... Whoops, hauling wood. Yep, keep going. We're now out of wood. Okay, fine. I will micromanage this into success. Addison, please go cut that pine tree. Stop relaxing. We need to just finish these walls. And Constantine apparently slept outside, right? Because he has no bed. All right, well, fine. Addison and Constantine are going to have to group up, and we'll do that by making another bed in here. Sorry, guys. It's, it's like we're just going to have to have bunk beds for now. Of course, this also takes wood, which, you know, we don't have. Let's cut the bigger tree. Well, how much wood do these take? 35? How much is this? 30? Okay, Addison's doing that. Let's have Addison cut the bigger tree. Constantine, can you please prioritize making this bed in the middle of the night so you won't freeze to death on your face in the snow? Great. Now you at least have a bed in indoors that's heated. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. One more tree chop, one more wall, one more roof, and we're good. You know what, though? For now, let's, uh, let's toggle this power off. Or was it toggle power? This is not working anyway. And then, do we have someone chopping? It sounds like we do. Yeah, Addison's chopping trees, good. That, that gives us the wood we need. When Constantine wakes up, we're good. We finish the walls, and the base is sort of not dull of barrack. That's amazing. I know, I'm sorry, Constantine. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I need wood, I need- I just need to catch up on everything, really. Whenever you wake up, like, you're actually the reason we're not caught up on everything right now, because you won't wake up. There we go, he's getting a fine meal. I'm glad the Gar is at least handling the fine meal situation. Looks like we're good on rice, at least for now. Constantine's relaxing socially, that's good. He was unhappy because of living in the dull barracks, so we'll, we'll allow this for now. And then as soon as he's done, we're gonna go back to prioritizing these walls. Let's finish this up, get this thing roofed, get it heated, and have a nice room. And now we don't, we don't care about repairing that. What we care about is building this. Also, Addison, can you please chop this tree while Constantine's doing that? No, I guess not. Build the wall, Constantine. Let's build this wall, Constantine. That's it, last wall. Almost. Then we build the roof. There we go. Get the roof in. Fantastic. Now we can turn the power back on. Great. Oh, Constantine and Zanai just had a little bit of a heart there. What's going on here? What's up here? Uh, hold on. That was wooed by Constantine. Zanai rejected the advance. Zanai is a male, and Constantine's a male. Attempted to woo Zanai. Really likes Zanai for some reason. All right. Uh, I don't remember this. So Constantine is gay. Zanai is not. Constantine, why were you painting all those pictures of Christine then if you've been gay? I thought Zanai was the one who was gay. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Right, Constantine, no, don't don't build that. Deconstruct this cooler. And then when that's done, we're gonna immediately put in a priority wall. Or a door, rather, so people can get right in there and out for their foods. Okay, put the wall in. No, Constantine, come back, please. We need you to prioritize working on this thing. So the cooler the, the room in here stays cool. Perfect. Now we need you to get out here and prioritize this solar generator because we are really low on the power. 1,000 watts, and we need to turn on the this thing down here in the very near future. That's going to be very hard to maintain the power. Even with all this stuff, this is probably not enough. I want to build the, the geothermal stuff, but where is the geothermal stuff? It's like... It's pretty far down. We got to do microelectronics, and then we could go to geothermal. That wouldn't be too bad. We're not actually getting anywhere with machinery. Let's like switch to that then. Not that it makes any difference because it's not getting done anytime soon. 
Constantine's hauling components. He's got 100 steel there. He's got two components. That'll be the last component. We might actually have a solar panel for tomorrow if he stays up to do it. I know you've been awake all night, Constantine, but can you just finish this up, please? Yes, he can! Look at that! What a worker! What a workhorse he is! Done! Well, that'll help a ton. So we're up to 2,000 watts of surplus. Does this mean I can turn this stuff on? Let's turn the power on. Turn the power on. It's gonna be rough, I think. What are these used for power? I'm not even sure where to see that exactly. Oh, power needed 1,600. Power needed 18. That's not very much. So, yeah. I mean, we can definitely do that. We're up to 2,500 during the day. The question is, will we have enough at night time? I don't know. We'll find out. Whew. Okay. That was a lot of talking. Uh, I feel like, what is the biggest issue facing us in the very near future? Uh, well, let's take a look at everyone's needs real quick. So, Christine's actually still doing... That party helped a lot in keeping her happy. Degara's doing pretty well as well. I'm going to be on everyone's minds for a few more days. It's my death. Zanai doesn't seem to care that I died at all. Okay, he's over it. <laughs> Eight without table, ugly environment. Well, you know what? Uh, Addison will get on that cleaning soon enough. Shared bedroom, yeah. Eight without table and Constantine. Good. Okay, so we need another bedroom for sure. And you know what? I could build two more. That's not a big deal. And then after that, I think defenses. Like, we really need defenses. And also, we probably need to worry about food. I have no more meat. Where can we find something to hunt for Dagar? Oh, here we go. Are these Ibex, though? Yeah, Ibex tend to ram you, so I'm not, like... I'm not super excited about that. Dagar does have a Mufalo to tank, though, but he'll probably end up shooting the Mufalo in the head. But <gasps> Ooh, what are these things? These are Elk. They I Do they fight back? They look kind of wimpy. In real life, elk are freaking menacing. But they look kind of wimpy. Let's try hunting them. I could have sworn there's a place you could see like the chance they might fight back. Animal filth rates, immunity gain, race, move speed, carrying diet, leather, life expectancy, market mass. No, I forget where it is you can see that. Oh well, whatever. Or maybe you just hover over it? Mmm, I don't think so. What if the gar hovers over it? He, mm, nope. Alright, whatever. It's really far away, but he can take care of it. Also, he should have uh, an animal assigned to him. Nope, he doesn't. It's assigned to Constantine. Let's assign it to Degar in case he gets in a, in a bind. We can have our Mufalo take care of it. Speaking of, can I rename the Mufalo now? View information. Health records. Nope. Can I do it here? Nope. Training. Training. Ah, I can't remember. I know you can do it. I thought you could do it. I don't remember how to do it. Whew. Lots of stuff. Nice. We're getting all this stuff chopped down, building up our stockpile of wood again. Looks like we even got... Actually, no. We don't have to bury the corpses because the cats are just eating them. Huh. That's an interesting way to dispose of corpses. Well, in that case, let's put together a zone, a stockpile zone. Let's put it out of the way where the cats can go eat it, but we don't have to worry about seeing it. Like, uh, like in here. Like some little cubby like that. And we'll make this stockpile zone disallow all. We will put on corpse corpses, though. And then we don't need any more graves. So we can actually cancel these and just let the cats eat, eat, eat the corpses. They seem to be fine doing it, so... It would really help, though, is if Christine got on the, uh... Got on this recruiting. Looks like she's wearing a... Mufalo Mega Sloth Wool Toque. 97%. Nice. Is that keeping her warm? Apparently, that's all she needs. That's all she needs. <laughs> fine by me. Oh, here we go. She's recruiting Wouter. Come on, Wouter. You're not that hard to recruit. 25% fail. We'll get him. We'll get him. He'll be a big help. Now, let's queue up those rooms. Wow, 30 minutes I've been playing. Damn it. Why? I just want to play for eight more hours. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, space, space, boom, wall, that, like this, as such. 
One, two, we'll do this. I don't know if this is smart or not. I, I haven't been thinking about it. I don't have the time. Let's put in the doors. Great, great. We're gonna need also now some temperatures, vents. They just require steel. That's... What the heck? Who the heck is this? A nurse named Douglas Wins? Oh no. Calls you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Grey Gauntlets. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 32. Douglas Wins. This is like my retribution, friends. This must be my brother. Wins has a relationship with the colonists. He, no, wait, he is Christine's father-in-law. Hold on. How does this work? Christine's father-in-law. That would have made him my father. So my father is here. Why did it take me so long to figure that out? Uh, fascinating. However, if we, if we offer him safety, we're gonna have a raid that may end the entire campaign. I am not prepared for this. I'm really not preparing for raids. I'm not prepared for this difficulty. Obviously, I can't ignore my father, though. So we're going to offer him safety, and we're probably going to lose the game in the next episode, which is fine. Uh, I tried my best. I did really badly, but I enjoyed every second of it. So, when's we returning? My father will be joining the fray. Until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Look at him, he looks so cool! Oh my god, I wish my father had a mohawk and liked to be naked. What the? What is with this guy? Does he like Christine? My son, dead. No, he actually hates Christine. Wait, why? Christine's ugly? Oh right, she's ugly. She's not ugly. Actually, no, we don't have to bury the corpses because the cats are just eating them. Huh. That's an interesting way to dispose of corpses. Well, in that case, let's put together a zone, a stockpile zone. Let's put it out of the way where the cats can go eat it.